guys i know it's been forever hi how are you i've tried to film a comeback video like five or six times already and it just never seemed to come out right um but now as you guys can tell by today's title uh, if you guys have followed me for any sort of time you know that this is a topic that i'm super super passionate about anything relating to puerto rico to being puerto rican to being latina it kind of sort of became my persona here on youtube for a while um i have a ton of videos talking about what it was like for me growing up puerto rican and growing up as a latina in new york i am born and raised in new york uh, but of Puerto Rican descent and I have really always truly embraced being Puerto Rican and it literally is a personality trait at this point. I couldn't ignore what is going on right now. If you followed the news then you know that Hurricane Fiona touched down on the island yesterday. Today's Monday, September 19th and yesterday we started seeing all of these terrible terrifying images of floods and just downpours and and the entire island being without electricity and when is enough gonna be enough another major inspiration for this video sorry that the sunlight keeps like going in and out it's like bugging out right now but um another inspiration was of course the new bad bunny video for el apagón Again, if you're my phone, sorry. Um, for El Apagón, where they, uh, not only did he do the music video for that very popular song, but then the last like 20 or so minutes was a full-on documentary by Bianca Graulau, who I've mentioned here on my channel before, she's fantastic, uh, discussing pretty much everything that's going on in the island, not only everything that's pertaining to now in terms of like electricity going out and the and the electrical system just being absolute an absolute piece of shit like let's just call it what it is um also talking about like colonialism and the displacing of the natives there and the fact that people are moving onto the island and buying properties and trying to buy up space on public beaches and it is truly heartbreaking to know that all of this is happening, all of this modern day colonialism is happening in 2022. Like this is what it is. Like it is not a joke anymore because I think we're getting to the point and call me extreme if you want, but we're getting to the point where in 50 years, what is a true Puerto Rican gonna be? Is there gonna be anyone native like able to live on the island? The, the the unemployment numbers are insane it's so hard to find work it's so hard to buy property to to even pay rent and even if you are paying rent and you or or you you do own something there's always someone coming in a gringo coming in and trying to buy it out from under you residents are are being sent 30 day notices where they're told that they have to leave their apartments because the building was bought and being turned into a hotel, being turned into expensive luxury condos, they, they're closing schools. They're literally closing schools. Like what is an island without education? Think about that. It is beyond, I'm sorry that I keep squeaking. I'm sitting on this, this stool because this is just like impromptu. I'm literally about to go to the dentist. But I was like, when is enough gonna be enough it is infuriating especially when you're here like you being me like being here and being privileged because i don't think that us new yorkans or just uh, uh puerto ricans not born natively or not living natively on the island don't understand the level of privilege that we hold and it's moments like this where i see why puerto ricans say there's a difference between us i don't agree with the shit talking because i think that as someone who's born and raised here in new york i will consider myself puerto rican first and foremost before you find myself calling myself anything else uh but that's just because i'm so proud of my island 
um, and my people, but you can see the stark difference where we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with our hospitals, you know, the electricity going out and the generators not being enough and people literally dying, people literally in, in, in those floods, in those downpours, having to be transported from the hospital because one hospital can't contain their patients because there's no electricity, their, their machines won't work. We don't deal with that in New York. Another thing is like just receiving letters saying that you have 30 days to get out of your home. Like I understand New York City is extremely expensive. Trust me, I pay rent here, I know. Um, but there's an option in the sense that like you can go to different boroughs or 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 different states. It's not completely like a no-go anymore for any, for anyone who makes under a certain amount of money you know what i mean whereas in puerto rico people are finding it harder and harder to maintain a life there and people want to stay and people want to even people that are here want to move back but they can't because if they're trying to find work there it's very difficult if they're trying to uh pay rent there it's very difficult if they're trying to just live a normal life without the fucking light going out and and be able to cook their food they're unable to it's just so shitty because we are a part of the united states but you really 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 see the stark difference now in moments like this where people are in need and what are we doing to help them so i have been trying my best to read up on what i can um in terms of like places that i can donate money or goods other than like the red cross and fema because i don't think they do shit that's just my opinion if you want to disagree disagree but uh if you guys know of any local ethical organizations that we can donate to please 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 leave them in the comments down below so we can get on it because we can't keep complaining and not doing shit ya ya se pasó el tiempo like we really have to do something now because if we want to preserve our island if we want to preserve our beaches if we want to preserve our people i can't say algo we have to do something we, we can't just talk and now i'm so happy that we have social media like tiktok where they take the average per person and push them out to millions and millions of people because now people can see people can see it's different when you hear about it it's different when you see a, a a 10 second clip on the news now you're seeing real people you're seeing real lives you're seeing real real stories and now's the time that we act so i'm sorry i've disappeared here off of youtube this is the moment that i end that <laughs> because there's a lot that i want to do on my channel um, but I really, really, really needed to say something here because you guys know more than anything, if you're still following me, how much I love just representing. And if I'm going to be there for the high moments, I want to be there for the low ones too. Um, I was actually in Puerto Rico during um, Hurricane Maria. I saw with my own eyes what the island goes through and now to see them going through it again off of a category one. Let's not forget, Maria was a category four doing that damage that's damage that we expect by a storm that strong but a category one a tropical storm that had just turned into a hurricane did significant damage to the island because they never fully recovered from huracan maria so they were screwed to begin with before anything actually arrived so i'm just gonna bounce off here i really have to go to the dentist right now but Thank you guys for watching like i said if you know of any um any charities or places that we can donate stuff please leave them down below so i can pin the comments and so i can share with everybody because we have to stop doing this and start acting so i love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you next time bye It's all the same as and lost, as and lost. Keep all your